So I'm a little bit sad because now we actually have our final talk of the evening. <laughs> final. <laughs> And um, Chris is the curator of TEDx Manga, so we're really happy to have him here. And he also teaches entrepreneurial and creative skills across Taiwan. And so his final speaker for the evening, his speech is called Rockathon. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we will do this again. It's called An Alternative Look at Business. Are we up? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Chris. Right. Cool, so um, I'm a teacher, I teach adults, um, and my job is to inspire people to change their life. So when he asked me to inspire you tonight, I thought, shit. <laughs> it, it's really difficult, because Taiwanese people really only care about money. <laughs> and I can give you all these exciting stories, you don't care. Money's in short supply, we're all kind of poorer than we were 10 years ago. I feel like today everybody's worried that old style Taiwanese business, you know, we make stuff, we sell technology. That's not appropriate in the new economy, the, the what do we call it, the service economy. Everybody tells me this, and it's actually not true. I'm gonna to look tonight at some of the four largest, most successful companies ever in the world and how they made so much money. And we're going to start with actually the richest man who ever lived in all of history. And in modern money, this man, John Rockefeller, was worth about 300 billion US dollars, which is, I think, eight times Bill Gates. It's huge. And he got so rich because he invented the mobile phone. Um, this is the mobile phone. This is the Mayfu mobile phone. And the Standard Oil Company used to give this mobile phone to people in China. And every month, those people would come back and buy a service from the company, oil. Graham Bell also invented the telephone, but not a mobile phone. What he did, he would put a wire into your house and give you some technology, and every month, you would pay him for the service he provided, just like the made for lab. So what business was Rockefeller in? It's not oil. He was in the lighting business. People bought light, not oil. And his biggest competitor, oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm too fast. <laughs> mobile phones. We don't buy mobile phones because we like mobile phones or technology. We buy mobile phones because we want the app. We want the communication. We want the service. We don't want the thing. This guy, Edison, he's not the inventor of the electric light. That was invented before he was born. What he did, he invented a way of putting light into people's houses. How to put wires into people's houses and deliver electricity. The light bulb was not his great invention. His great invention was a system to distribute light to people who needed light. And Rockefeller, he had a different system using oil. We're looking at the dates, the first patent for electric light was before Bell was even no, before Edison was even born. But for 40 years, nobody used it. And then over this half a century period, all of these great companies all got started and they all sell the same thing every month, every month, every month. Mm -hmm. And look how many customers they have. At this period and today. Today, the number of people burning oil to make light is the same as it was when Rockefeller was the richest man in the world. And Thomas Edison made a huge profit out of that. Light today is made from oil and they put it in bottles and they put the bottles in a truck and they drive the truck around selling light or Coca-Cola, same thing. Okay, it's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is in Somalia. Somalia is a war zone. You've heard about this country. Pirates. Coca-Cola is there, making money out of these people. You're not. You're trying to sell mobile phones. A quarter of the world, 1.6 million people, they want the technology to have light. That technology is all made in Taiwan. 
but you're trying to sell the technology, sell the service. As soon as these guys get electricity, they buy mobile phones and download apps and talk to each other. And every month, they pay money to the phone company and the electricity, not the electricity company, they have to buy oil. Where's the electricity company? 230 years we've had the technology and still nobody made a system to give money to those, to give light to those people. So if you want to get rich, go to Africa, go to India, build a system that makes people want the technology and buy the technology cheap from somebody in China. 